right when it felt that there were enough shotguns, Epic went ahead and dropped yet another one on us, the Lever Action Shotgun. So we've had a few days to play with it, but it's now available in competitive playlists. So here's the big question. Is the Lever Action Shotgun actually any good? What's going on guys, your motivation guy is here, Bunch of Crunch Army. We're gonna be looking at how the new lever action shotgun stacks up against its competition. This video is packed with tips on maximizing your damage and which playlist works best with the lever action. And at the end, we're gonna be ranking each shotgun from the worst to the best so you can get a better idea of which ones that you should be using. A quick like on the video would be much appreciated. And without further ado, let's get this going. All right, guys, so the best way that we can describe the lever action is this, all right? It's kind of like the tactical and pump shotguns had a baby. Basically, it's similar to both, and the official description says it deals high damage as a moderate fire rate with a short range and limited magazine size. I mean, that's pretty accurate, but to be honest, we personally wouldn't consider it high damage, at least when compared to the charged shotgun at 100 power. However, its body shot damage is definitely better than a quick 0% shot from the charge, which means it's excellent at getting in significant hits through a quick edit into a reset, similar to how you would use the pump. But another downside is that the lever action only has a headshot multiplier of 1.45. That means you can't one shot a 200 health player with it. It's gonna take at least two shots or a swap to a spray weapon to finish off opponents. But but does that make it useless? Well, to answer this, no, absolutely not. Like, the lever action shotgun is surprisingly balanced. It's no purple or go pump, all right, I get it. But compared to what's available, this might be the go-to shotgun for a lot of players. It fires instantly, I mean, making it very, you know, great to use. It holds more ammo than a charge, and it deals more damage than attack. The only areas where, you know, it really struggles are its range and sort of its reload speed. And again, like its headshot damage, but everything else about it is pretty good. All right, guys, we got to move on. Since the lever action shotgun has a less than stellar headshot multiplier, where should you aim with it? There seems to be a lot of confusion about whether you should just go for headshots or only go for the body. I mean, it makes sense to go for the body. That's just how you use the dragon shotgun after all. But the range on lever action isn't as lousy as the dragon. It's more similar to the tag, which is why you generally want to aim at the neck. This allows you to connect a lot of pellets on the body and a few on the head, which seems to net the highest possible damage. So the only time that you want to aim entirely on your opponent's head is if you're basically on top of them, like point blank range in the same box where your crosshair can just fit right over their noggin. But at one or two tiles away or more, that's when aiming for the neck maximizes damage. Next, okay, we gotta talk about what play styles work best with the lever action shotgun. You guys ready for this? But first, if you wanna improve at Fortnite like super fast, check out our coaching services, guys. I'm be I've been trying to tell you this, you gotta do it. Our coaches know the game inside and out, and Pro Guys makes it incredibly easy to get in contact with them as well. So if you've ever wanted to go pro, right, and you wanted to really take your game to the next level, you gotta schedule a session today over on ProGuys.com. All right, guys, so based on everything that we know about the lever action, as well as what we know about other shotguns in this meta, we say it's best suited for aggressive box fighting more than anything else. Not to say that you can't just build battle with it, but it's just very similar to the pump and has now filled the gap left behind when the pump was vaulted. So what works really well are edits into quick shots at close range within one or two tiles. And you wanna perform edits that give you a right hand peeker's advantage or that can somehow surprise your opponent. Basically, all right, anything that can allow you to land a shot and reset the piece before you get shot back. So window edits or the top right corner edit are great. Just make sure, guys, you reset your wall and hold right after you shoot, all right? Okay, so what about what you want to avoid doing with the lever action? Well, for the most part, you ideally don't want to jump into boxes. Like, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but assuming your opponents land their shots, you're gonna lose the fight against attack, and you're gonna lose against the dragon shotgun. The lever action just isn't as a great a weapon for 50-50s, you know what I mean? Like, the only shotgun that you have the advantage against at close range is the charge, but in the case too, you better hope your opponent doesn't land a nasty headshot. 
Speaking of, all right, when fighting against a charged shotgun, try to keep yourself within a pretty close distance, not necessarily point blank, but within a couple of tiles. That makes it so they can't just take advantage of their charged superior range, which is one of the main reasons you can even use a change in this meta. And of course, don't ever try to trade shots when your opponent is holding their charge. Like, yeah, man, like the lever action is suited for aggressiveness, but the charge, yo, it's an excellent defensive weapon itself, and you can't really win those trades if you let your opponent charge up first, all right? So yeah, getting close, working on piece control, making quick edits and resetting them, holding right hand peaks, all of those playstyles work exceptionally well with the lever action shotgun. And it's not terrible for build battles either, but it doesn't really do that much better than the charge in that regard. Next up, let's get into the tip that way too many players overlook in Season 5. All right, so with the lever action shotgun and really all shotguns, you want to try to upgrade it in every match to at least blue rarity, preferably higher if you have the gold. Blue rarity gives the lever action shotgun 100 damage to the body, which can be enough to insta-kill opponents who aren't lucky enough to find any shields. So we know that's more helpful in the early game, so that's why it might be useful to land near an NPC that offers upgrades. Any duplicates that you see on this map will only be in one of those locations, all right? So just remember that. They're random, so you don't really want to rely on those every game. But Dirty Docks is our favorite choice, since two NPCs can always upgrade there. There's a ton of loot, you know, Brutus sometimes even sells the lever action shotgun outright. So in pubs at least, you can land on him, buy the new shotgun, you know, upgrade it, and then duel him for his P90. And in like one minute, you've got yourself a game changing loadout. So as a reminder though guys, upgrading gray to green requires 25 gold. For green to blue, you need 50. Blue to purple requires 145 gold and purple to gold is 345. So realistically, you're gonna get at most a blue to purple upgrade in arena since you only start with 50 gold in that mode. The rest might be hard to come by, but if you loot enough or just complete one bounty, hey, that's enough to get your weapon to purple. Overall, loot strength is just so important and the higher rarity your main weapons are, like your shotgun, the higher chance chances of winning the game. So don't ever forget about upgrading guys. Try to implement it into every game that you play and that should definitely help you guys out a lot. All right, now we know that having four shotguns can be confusing for a lot of players, and a lot of you like it when we rank things just to make it more simple. So this is our opinion on where each rarity of shotgun currently not vaulted stands overall strength right now. You guys ready? Here we go. All right, guys, at the bottom, it's the gray tack. Too weak in every way to be considered any good. Next, we say the green tack is just slightly better, but the gray lever action seems better at, you know, hitting significant shots. After that, though, is the green charge. Then the green lever action comes next. The blue tack is overall better than that, with the purple dragon shotgun leading slightly over that. Personally, we think that the blue charge is even better, but a gold dragon shotgun has one shot potential, so we rank that slightly higher. Now, this is where things get a little interesting, because <laughs> next is the purple charge, and then finally, these are the best shotguns, okay? The blue lever action, the purple tack, the gold charge, the purple lever action, the gold lever action, and lastly, the gold tack. But, you know, reminder that this is just our rough opinion on the overall strength of each shotgun, all right? But as you can see, we consider the lever action to be the best overall. It's just that in the higher rarities, the tack becomes really strong against builds, which is why we put it on top. And all of this is assuming you play to each shotgun's most beneficial playstyle anyway, right? So we actually have a couple of videos that go over each shotgun's playstyle in detail, which you should definitely watch, you know, if you're looking for more amazing shotgun tips. But ultimately, guys, Everyone's different and prefers different play styles over the other. At the end of the day, what you find to be the best shotgun might just be the one that works best for you. All in all, <laughs> the lever action rifle is very well balanced and definitely worth using it, guys. You know, it behaves almost like a pump and you use it nearly the same way, but just with differences on range and damage. So guys, once again, bunch of Quentin's Army. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the tips and discussion on season five shotguns, we definitely appreciate a like on the video. You know, every single like helps us and don't forget to subscribe with the bell button on. Hey, once again, it was my honor today, your motivation guy, and I'll see you soon.